For all the best tips and strategies, check out the Ultimate Utility app. Links are available in the description. It's not often the developers can sneak something into a Call of Duty game without me realizing it. One way or another, secrets find a way to get revealed. So I recently did a challenge help guide on how to destroy the top score streak in Infinite Warfare, the Apex. Now in that video, I covered every detail you could possibly want to know about it, or so I thought. In one of the more recent official Call of Duty trailers, they displayed the Apex doing something I had no idea it could do. It appeared to be doing a barrel roll. It spun itself all the way around while continuously firing, and it looked awesome. So I immediately jumped on Infinite Warfare after seeing this and I earned an Apex. Much to my dismay though, I didn't see an option to perform such a trick. If you look at the main screen for the Apex, you can see that it has quite a few control features. For example, most people overlook the fact that the Apex can actually boost up pretty high. Eventually, you'll even get the out of bounds message if you venture too high towards the sky. Likewise, it has the option to boost down as well. It also clearly displays its two methods of attacking, the machine gun as well as the missile barrage. You can also note all four of the missiles at all times, whether they're awaiting use or in the process of reloading. Lastly, the smallest of indicators can be found at the bottom center of the screen. It says you can push the left analog stick down to boost, which engages the apex in a brief burst of speed for approximately one second. So where exactly is the description that says, perform a Tom Cruise Top Gun barrel roll? The fact of the matter is, it's not there. I don't know if they added this ability with the first DLC or if this was in the game from the start, but it's definitely possible now. So what you have to do is hold the grenade throw button. While you hold this down, you also need to push the right analog stick to the left or right, and this will spin you around in circles. To move forward, you then have to move up on the left analog. So to recap that, you hold the grenade toss button, you push the right analog stick in either direction, and you hold up on the left analog stick. This will propel you forward while you're spinning in an endless loop. So what's the benefit of this, exactly? Besides the obvious cool factor, I can't seem to find any positives from doing this. And more often than not, you'll end up like old Biff from Back to the Future 2 where he tries to pilot the flying DeLorean. You'll bounce into things left and right. Or, as happened to me on several occasions in public matches, you'll end up looking like a wiswog stuck in an endless spin cycle. It's kind of hard to get the actions just right, and more often than not, you just spin in circles without moving. I guess this technically could confuse your opponents, but in actuality, it'll leave you a sitting duck. You also don't seem to go any faster than you normally would by doing this barrel roll. You could probably argue that it makes you even more evasive, since you'll be dodging bullets matrix style. Nonetheless, it's a very nice trick to show off to your friends. Now despite there being no theater mode to make some nice montages using this secret technique, if you happen to get a final kill with the Apex, and the kill happens to be with one of the missiles, a third person cinematic sequence happens briefly. So if anyone's feeling creative, I challenge you to get a final kill using the barrel roll with a missile. You should see the barrel roll in third person, which would be absolutely amazing. And feel free to send such clips to me on my Twitter. My name over there is at Stonewall Tabor. You can also find a link in the description. Now like I mentioned earlier, it's not often secret abilities in a Call of Duty game remain hidden this long. Maybe it's due to the fact that hardly anyone runs the Apex, which would explain why not many people knew about this. Chances are, most people have only used an Apex from a drone package. In which case, the first time you do pilot one, you're all sorts of mucked up and you go all over the place, leaving you little time to fiddle around for hidden evasive maneuvers it may have. So next time you earn yourself an Apex or you get one in a drone package, roll up your black socks and go show off to your friends by giving this barrel roll a whirl. Just don't come crying to me if you end up getting cold cocked into oblivion after being stuck in a never-ending loop of death.